Oh yeah, we're doing this. Warning, the following video contains extreme levels of furry trash not suitable for viewers under the age of 69. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. And if you're my mom or brother, just turn off the video. You don't need to see this. All right, we're here to have a super serious talk about the sexuals. I'll start off with a small disclaimer. Everything I'm saying is my personal experience, how I view things, and it does not represent the fandom as a whole. And if you happen to disagree, well... So we're gonna start with the basics. When a fursuiter really likes another fursuiter, they sometimes get this thing called an SPH, and then they get close and start cuddling, and then things happen, and it's known as mersuiting. If you don't know what a mersuit is, you're lying, aren't you? You know what it is. Well, it's a suit that's been modded and zippers have been added for holes at the appropriate places to have the sexuals. No, sex will not ruin the image of the fandom. In fact, I'd say a lot of people find the fandom because of the porn, so... You're a giant animal person that's already weird enough you're weird. There's no other way around it. You're just weird. Huh. There's nothing ever forcing anyone to disclose anything about their personal life. So it's really up to you what you do feel like sharing or you don't feel like sharing. I know what you're thinking right now and wondering yourself. Oh, is Boof a Merce suit? Unfortunately for you, no he's not. However, I mean... With a name like Boner, what do you expect? I'll let you do the math. Alright, the one topic that I'm definitely tired of hearing and that it's really bullshitty. People say this a lot when we're talking about the subject when it's aimed towards the mainstream media. It's only a tiny percentage of people that do this. I know a bunch of Mersuiters, it's definitely not like the tiniest percentage, like the 0.01% that some people would make you want to believe. I think people are just scared of the discrimination and the judgment that they'll try to minimize the topic by trying to exclude it and make it seem like it's a small fringe group of people when in reality it's actually fairly common. Now the other one, another one I hear all the time on the mainstream media when people are trying to push it back and pretend they say oh but it's way too warm why would anyone ever have sex in a fursuit why would anyone get in the fursuit in the first place people dance in fursuits and you're gonna tell me having sex is suddenly too warm no i'm telling you guys it works just fine you're gonna be warm in fursuit regardless what you're doing it's a big carpet full of fur now, i'm not gonna name names but there is one person that's been really pushing the PG image and that the fandom is super squeaky clean. And truth is that by pretending it doesn't exist, it won't make it vanish. It is what it is, and if you keep pretending it's not there and hiding it, well eventually it's gonna blow back in your face way more when you start digging into it. It's just a ticking time bomb basically. A lot of a mistake that some people make is they assume that because someone is into it for the sexual side that they can't be in it for other reasons too. Enjoying one part doesn't mean it's the whole thing. I have a mer suit, I have a normal suit. I enjoy both. It's not us versus them. We're in the end we're the same thing and just that our interests will just, you know, one has sex, the other one doesn't. There's something for everyone in the fandom. That's key point, key point. Remember that there's something for everyone. You're going to find your place. You're going to find your comfort levels. Don't worry about it. You won't be forced to get into crazy suit orgies and you won't get stuck into a Christian Bible fursuit praying session. No, I'm making stuff up, but if that's what you want to do, Go for it. Now you found out that Boner is a Merce suit. What happens now? Let's say you get to a con and you don't like Merce suiters and you know one person is a Merce suiter. 
you're allowed to not interact with them. Now you might even have hugged Mercedes without knowing it. Don't worry about it. Most people are going to be perfectly clean and there's probably some way more gross people that aren't in fursuit that are going to be walking around the same con with you. This is an expensive suit. It's very nice. I love it and I want to take care of it. And I just happen to have sex in it too. It's really awesome. Now I did want to bring up another topic and that's something you often will see at cons. Uh, especially later at night, it depends, the rules are different at every con. It's things like latex, uh, puppy play, pony play, or any other of those plays. You'll often see BDSM gears at cons. Pup hoods, they always bring a debate at a lot of cons every year. It's always going to come back on Twitter. What's my opinion on them? Well, let's do a change of clothing. I know what some of you are thinking. What the hell is he wearing? Well, it's called latex, and honestly, it looks pretty darn good. I mean, look at that butt. Which brings me to the topic of puppy play. Let's get real here. Pony play is better. So the line between puppy play or pet play and furry is sometimes pretty close and a lot of people are actually into both which is why you definitely end up seeing pup hoods at cons it's not because that you're wearing a super squeaky outfit that looks great by the way that you're gonna suddenly start having massive orgies on the middle of con space no the only difference is that if you give a latex person a hug you might get a bit of lube on you because that's how we shine the stuff don't worry about it Sure, it looks different, it's shiny, it's a bit maybe intimidating for some people, but I can wear this doing my grocery shopping if I wanted, I won't get arrested. Really in the end it's the same thing as fursuits, it's just to have a good time and have fun. Which brings me to a personal story of mine that I wanted to share with you guys and the actual reason why I'm wearing this right now. When I got into YouTubing, I got in slowly made a video and another one and eventually I had one video that did really great and my viewership grew dramatically like all at the same time and back then I only had Boof and I used to post Boof wearing this and when my YouTube kept growing I started having this fear that people would find out and then expose me or just view it negatively. When that was happening, I actually went ahead and deleted every single post that I have ever put that was wearing rubber or the pony that you saw because I was scared that with more and more people watching me and having more eyes on me that people were gonna judge and like I said, try to expose me or anything like that because it was different and they didn't like it. Well, to those people, I say, fuck you. I do what I want. I look great doing it. Uh, some of you might have seen it if you follow my Twitter. I posted it again a few months ago and it was super well received. I did Twitter and now I'm doing YouTube because frankly, I don't care. Uh, if you have an issue, well, don't watch anymore but I'm sure you're gonna be fine with it because it's all good fun and that's what matters all right so you just saw a bunch of wacky stuff from your favorite youtuber I hope uh, boof now squeaky boof or something call it what you want I don't care I would like to be able to say that it didn't bother me when I deleted the stuff that I did and started just being a PG because I was a youtuber all of a sudden but in the end, it actually bothered me because I was censoring myself. I was taking away the fun that I was having for the sake of fear image or just having people judge a lot. I'd like to conclude just by talking about, about hate image and a few things like that, especially if you're doing it inside your own fandom against other people that are into the same thing as you, the time you're spending hating on something and saying, oh no, this is okay, this is not okay, it's time you're not gonna be actually using to do the parts you enjoy about the fandom. So 
If you're not into immersive shooting, if you're not into rubber, if you're not into that stuff, don't start wasting your time hating and go do the parts you enjoy. You're not forced to be lewd, but it's good. So if it took me wearing rubber to get that message across, well then so be it. Oh, and if you were my brother or my mom and happened to not listen to my warning, well, that's too bad for you, deal with it. All right, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, maybe even check out my new Patreon I just started. If you want to see more crazy stuff like that, always expect the unexpected with me. And I hope you enjoy my crazy world. Bye.